Spelters and welcome to the month of October. I know it's probably November for you now, but it's the 4th of October, so I've got started nice and early. My big sheep is sitting on the window ledge, um, I shall show you. I'm getting there slowly. Um, I tend to do that in the evenings. In the mornings, I tend to be full of sort of creativity and wanting to do stuff. So I'll just show you what I'm doing now. I'm videoing for um, a basic shapes video and it's going to be sponsored by Heidi Feathers, which is a company that I really stand by. So I'm really pleased about that. I've finished the uh, light up mushroom and pumpkin one. Again, the big old fear of someone bringing out a video just before it really worries me. So I'm trying to overcome that. And I was thinking maybe I'll put a post on my Instagram. I could schedule it. Um, there's a button I don't know what to press on scheduling. I find it a little bit weird, but I shall have a look at that. But let me show you what I'm doing now. So this is the office looking all nice and aesthetic. Well, it does in the video, but look at it really. It's a bit of a mess and I've crammed everything. There's the sheep on the window ledge. But yeah, when you're sort of filming from up above, it all looks really nice. Um, but yeah, so enjoying that and popped my little mushroom there and I did stuff those pumpkins in the end in that video I think they look better stuffed but getting on with this video this morning and this is just a bit of fun to show you I'm going to try and make a couple of dog coats out of these coats from the charity shop here's Safi just checking it all over for me so this will be interesting to see if I can do this and achieve it hopefully I can so I follow this girl on YouTube. The uh, name of her business is R Cheery Corner. I'll put it on the screen now. And I watch her vlogs and they're quite long vlogs now, which is really good because I like to put something on in the background. But she is always doing craft fairs. Every weekend she's been doing craft fairs. She works so hard and her um, other half helps her. So that's really fantastic. But it's still immensely hard work. And she does punch needling. Similar to needle felting from the point of view that it takes ages to do something. It is just, you, you can't, I can't felt fast enough to keep up with demand if I was to keep putting all of my Highland cows on Etsy all the time. So um, yeah, so punch needling and I really love it. So I bought that punch needling kit from Yarndale. So that's from a UK company and she's just bought out her first kit kit uh, for punch needle and so I said do you want to do a swap and her YouTube channel is just starting to take off it's doing really really well so I do recommend watching her if you like studio vlogs so this is her kit um, and she sent me hers and I sent one of mine and she asked um, she makes car coasters and she asked what did I want and I said oh, I really like your pumpkin ones look at them <laughs> they are so cute our cheery corner I don't know if it'll zoom in on it, but I'll take a little shot from above so you can see them. And there's one of my hairs. How lovely. Um, but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to doing that punch needle kit because that means then I'll have a UK company. I'm going to put the two together in a video. So I have a UK company and then I'll have a US uh, company if people watching in the US wanted to try it. But um, yeah, so adorable. They're going in my car. I'm just so impressed with them. So I hope she enjoys. She um, went for the Highland Cow Kit, so I hope she enjoys it. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. Our cheery corner. And then we were on to Katie and Lin Linda's place from Needlebugs, who um, I think you'll remember I interviewed them a while ago. Well, they now have a place that you can go and stay. It's a two bed um, house. Um, you can sleep a couple more people than that because they've got sort of an area upstairs. These are their sheep. They came running up to me. Um, they thought I was going to feed them and then they got really cross and legged it. But <laughs> it was just such, these are the views. I mean, it was absolutely fantastic. So it's North Yorkshire um, and you can go and stay there. I'll put the link in the description below. And it is one of the best places I have stayed. Now, the puppies did make it even better <laughs> because they were just adorable. I think if I get the names right, Scribble and Bug, they are just so gorgeous and we had a lot of puppy time so that was fantastic but there's just so many places to walk your dog so many places to visit so we had um, honestly like I say when I say it's one of the best places I've stayed at it really was it was so comfortable oh this is their huge Highland cow that they have out the front of their stands I think they're going to be at Crafts in the Pen actually in um, Skipton so I'm going to try and go and see them there this is um, them in their workshop. I had a sort of bit of a chat. This is the puppies play den just to keep them all nice and safe. Um, so I had a good chat with Katie and Linda. I'm hoping to go up and see them again at some point. But if you know their work, you know, 
you know how fantastic their stuff is. Absolutely amazing. They didn't have that much out, but um, these are the puppies. They just kept winning the day. But here's, that's where they live. And this is the house. And I'll show you a little bit inside it because if you're going up that way, I definitely recommend booking it. It's huge. I mean, look at it. It's got a huge kitchen, diner, lounge, upstairs area. It's so beautifully decorated with all the things that I love, you know, cows, sheep. Um, and it was just so comfortable, all clean. And, and of course, there's a couple of needle felted items in there too. But yeah, we had um, a really lovely stay. We stayed for two nights. I don't think we could stay any longer because we had a bit of an emergency back home. So we had to, we couldn't stay for long enough, but every window has got a view and I just thoroughly recommend it if you're looking for somewhere to go and stay North Yorkshire way. And we went to the village of Staithes for a quick visit. I do like to show you, you know, what it's like living here, some of the local countryside. They've got some beautiful shops. Staithes is a very um, iconic village. There's a lot of uh, pictures and paintings of it. When you sort of look back at it, it's sort of down in the, in a bit of a dip in the coast. And we had a lovely walk round. This is the RNLI. But um, the sea was quite rough further out. But as you can see, it's got all these beautiful shops and houses right down um, on the coast. And we had a lovely lunch there. And then we popped back. And we found the dogs um, a really good beach that they could have a run around on. So they had a fantastic time. But we really enjoyed it. Link in description to Katie and Linda's. So I'm just trying something different. I'm just sort of putting together a picture. And I'm just going to show you this stage is the, the really sort of simple stage where I've just laid down some colours. And I'm just going to felt it down and then I'll start doing the detail. But simplistically, it's a background, uh, a mound of green some patches of brown going up not you know they're just they're not you know I'm I'm not artistic I always say it but people always say you are but I I I don't believe I am I'm just literally that's just patches going down and then a couple of bits on it uh, a couple of stalks and some red um, and I've done it darker sort of around the back of the hill a bit lighter in the foreground and I've tried to resemble the moon, it's sort of going to be moonlight. So that's it, you know, that's the start of it, just so you can see it. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show you, so I've based it off this sort of picture, that sort of idea, especially you see it's got the dark behind it. And um, a minute ago, I didn't have the moon and that space, sorry, let me just oh, get that out of the way. So that's the frame. Um, and I'd done the two in the mound and that wasn't there. I can't really hide it. Picture's very empty. There was a definite, this looked awful. But So now that has tied the picture in a lot better. Much, much better. So try around, uh, play around with things. I was thinking of putting a third mushroom here, but it looked wrong. So the moon has just sort of completed the circle. Progress so far. Um, really happy with it. Just trying to work out if I need to do something with that area there. Um, looks a little bit blank, but I'm sort of halfway through over, um, flattening it all. I don't think you can see I've done that side. I've got all of this to do, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it so far. I was supposed to be doing this as part of, um, I'm getting a free foot sewing, free motion sewing foot. And I was going to do some sewing on it, but I just got carried away with the locks and stuff. So, yeah, so far, um, really, I think I'm really liking it. There it is up there, all framed. I didn't do much more to it. Um, I spoke to my daughter who's studying art because I said I was worried about that space there being a bit boring. But she says you need some negative space for people to sort of. Well, I don't know how she described it, but it's good to have something because otherwise it's too busy. So I've I've left it at that, but all framed up, finished. All legs done and I'm on the horns. I've done one side. That's all done with just a bit of Powertex glue. Nice and simple. It's all dry hard, so I'm just doing the other side now.
It's quite boring actually when you <laughs> have such a big project. Sometimes you get a bit bored. But the legs were the worst. But now I'm on to the more fun bit. And the ears I've attached. <sighs> Hot water bottle. I'm so cold. It's the 17th today. And as you can see, I am working away on this hairy monster made a bit of progress but it's just it's taking obviously it always takes longer than you think I've got all the wool prepared I've got more wool down there to cut <coughs> excuse me done the horns I am so tired at the moment I don't know it's just gone really cold outside um I've got a hot water bottle just behind me here even though the heating's on but anyway, yeah, really tired at the moment. Don't know about anyone else. I think it's when winter sort of comes in, it tells you to slow down, just relax. It's gone um, very cold at night. Oh, nice tea. <coughs> oh, maybe I'm catching. Maybe I'm going down with something. <coughs> so I thought I would try and talk to you whilst I'm doing this. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Let me go round this side. And see if I can talk to you whilst I'm doing this one. Got I still got a slight wobble, but it's pretty good actually. I'm really pleased. Um, I went to a craft group uh, Thursday, I think it was, and I walked in and I was like, "It's a craft group for anything, any crafts really." But um, as it happens, it most of the ladies are doing stuff with not necessarily just wool but definitely wool is a key thing there and there was weaving <clears throat> spinning there was two spinning machines um and there were some other bits and bobs going on there was only four or five ladies so it's not like loads of ladies but um sorry just get the bin it was it was just so lovely and within five minutes i was spinning i said to this lady oh i'd love to i've never you know spinning and this is a drop spindle and i've seen them in action at yarndale and within a few minutes, she was teaching me that because she teaches uh, spinning. So that was amazing because I've never done that. And then um, I went around the corner to make, uh, well, they made me a cup of tea, even nicer. Got a cup of tea as soon as I walked in, you know me. And then I walked around the corner to wash up the cup and they've got a board and it was full of Yarndale um, sort of cards and where people had been and so they all know Yarndale and yeah it was just really incredible so I had a great time there but yeah so I, I just couldn't believe it that it's it's sort of my kind of so I've joined um, for the year it's like a small amount to join for the year um, and it they meet every Thursday so it's optional you just go along if you want to but yeah I thought what a really great opportunity to learn off lots of other ladies and their crafts and they were also because I took this sheep in his basic form he didn't obviously have any locks on I was just trying to firm up the base and they none of them really do felting so um, that's really good for them to learn about something new too because I was thinking of starting a felting group over at Unity but I, I because the operations coming up I sort of didn't go into it too much just yet but this group seems to be perfect for I just wanted to meet other people and and talk to other people when you're sort of crafting and felting so that was really good my basics video has gone up and that's done really well and I'm like it's a basics video so I wouldn't expect the majority of my um, viewers to watch it I think it's one that people will find as they first start looking for videos for felting but I've had so many lovely comments and I really did try to make that one quite aesthetic and quite... God, he's so wobbly, sorry, if it's annoying you. Um, I tried to make it really good, really close up, really thorough and so many people have left some such lovely comments on it. So thank you so much if that was you. Um, but yeah, it's had quite a few views already, but I just think it's a really good, useful resource for beginners. Definitely. And I'm pointing them towards Heidi Feathers for needles straight away too. I know they were the sponsor of the video, but obviously I really believe in Heidi Feathers for needles and the fact that she does other bits and bobs, everything else that you would need too is really, really good. And she, um, it's £50, over £50 for orders abroad is free postage. 
that's quite something because postage is still going to be about eight or nine pounds so that's a really good deal so if you were ordering lots of bits and bobs um, it's definitely worth it my sheep kits have been selling quite well I've only got four left um, my shoulder is hurting oh. I went for my first massage in ages recently and that was really good um, just to keep on top of it it's like a remedial massage really worth it but um, I had to sort of wait a bit because I, I had booked an appointment a while ago and I forgot to go and I told you I still had to pay for it so I kind of had to not go for a bit because I'd wasted that amount of money which was n really silly so this time I've written everything down really like I leave it in prominent places so I definitely won't forget um I had planned to do a video this week um, but this guy is just taking longer than expected and I'm feeling so blur I just don't want to do it um so you know that I can be flexible with this business so if I don't feel like doing that video sometimes I push myself and I really make myself do things but when it's a video that I'm going to be talking through, talking to the camera quite a bit, you need to be full of energy and because you don't you don't want to come across boring. So I'm not doing that video just yet, to put it that way, because the thing is, everyone's out of the house Monday and Tuesday. And that's a really good time for me to do those videos. But I just don't feel like it. So I'm going to crack on and try and. I don't think I'll finish this one today because the face is going to take quite a lot. I've got lots of black wool saved. It's just awkward getting in and around there. And then when I'm going through the wool and I find nice wool that I think is for, good for the head, that's really clean and curly, I keep that aside as well. And then this stuff here is all for the body. And I think in all he must have taken me two weeks. Vincent is obviously now complete and done. I am really happy he's going to be for my craft fair. I probably said that earlier. He's going to be on my stand just to draw people in and I'm going to keep him. My husband said, what if someone asked to buy him? I said, well, I'm not selling him <laughs> at all. Um, and here's the dogs meeting him for the first time. I was intrigued to see what they would think. But they weren't too bothered at all. Thought he smelt nice, but that was about it. So really happy he's done. one has sold um which is one of my definite favorites um she is going to america and i'm just going over and just making sure that this is all definitely attached it's um a lovely uh what was it twisted yarn that i used and she's got her i don't sort of show them enough um but when i remember i put these nice little tags on and they're just wooden tags and it's got my logo and felt by Philippa. So I put, pop it on around there and I tie it on just with a black cord and it's up to the person if they want to keep it or not, they can just take it off. Whereas sometimes if you attach things into the actual item, it's harder for them to sort of take off. So I just like it to be optional. So I'm just packing up this one and I sold a kit last night. I haven't sold any kits for a couple of days. So that's quite nice. I sold a kit through my website. My website is um, a tiny bit cheaper. If anyone was looking to buy a kit, definitely go to my website because obviously I have less, uh, I don't have the Etsy charges there. I don't really drive people to my website enough. I only literally have the kits on it because I haven't worked it all out yet. Um, 
and I sold a course. So that's like, oh, some days you just think that's really good. I am a proper little business. <laughs> so, but yeah, just packing up this one. I'm going to put in a couple because she's so expensive. I always put in a couple of uh, free notepads with orders over a certain amount because I, I feel, gosh, that person is spending so much money with me. And for this one, they have tax to pay for America and the postage. So, but yeah, I'll just work over her and check that her coat is all secure. She's not looking too bad. Um, I've tidied up the garage yet again. So I've got this table here, that there, that's all my, well, I've got loads more um, actual sheet wool under there, but I went through all of my wool. So this is my kit wool. Um, I managed to organize everything I need for packing because I need to get to boxes. I need to get, I couldn't reach this area here. So I was really, really struggling. And then this is my craft fair stuff, which I want to go through uh, quite soon. I could never reach. This is, I keep the art, my eyes for my um, creatures all in there. So I just couldn't reach stuff. So I was really, really struggling. So I've managed to make it all a bit neater. And I went through and I've thrown away some cardboard and some other bits and bobs. But a couple of these bags have got some wool in them that I had to get rid of because it was so old that it's going yellow and it's not really savable. So yeah, this is a little bit more workable like this, but it, like I said, it is gonna get cold in winter and I have got this radiator. And I'm gonna make up some kits probably tomorrow before I go for the op because I don't think I'm gonna to want to make up sheep kits when I get back. Excuse the lighting, but it's quite bright in here. So I'm in the garage. My operation got canceled again for the second time, which does happen. It's just annoying. It was like 4 p.m. the day before. Anyway, so I've turned my attentions to my display. I hope you like it. Let's... So here we go. Uh, ignore the fact there's a running machine in the background and a lawnmower down there. At present, so I've put all, this is not exactly how it's going to be, but it's pretty much. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. I'm not going to paint anything. Uh, I'm quite happy with the colours as they are now, looking at it all together. I really like my extra foliage. I have put some lights all around it. They don't kind of show up that well. That's a little sort of fake candle. There's Vincent looking good. Um... The lights don't show up that well on the camera, but they work really well in real life. The uh, kits are a bit of a pain. They're kind of like ruining the display. I do have a separate little table, which I might um, put them on, but I really use that table for packing orders and it just makes my life so much easier. So here we are with it roughly displayed so I am so happy that I did this because um, this is the topping to that piece now I knew Vincent might fit on that really well so I was trying to work it so that worked and I've put um, this one on top of a crate so that you know it's all you know worked much better than I thought it would so I'm going to take some pictures and this is going to be roughly it and I'm going to debate about maybe do I get a small narrow table and I could just put the kits along there something to think about but there it is so far right, I'm going to take it all down see here it is with the the lights off and you can see those are the lights I put one two three four five sets of those little mini lights there just working with what I've got I had this which I used to have on my table but I've moved it and there is a chance that might work so I don't have to purchase anything new and then I thought I'd have that in the middle of those two Ugh, maybe tipped up I don't know I'll try and I could work with that I think just about to do my accounts because I'm doing them in a book now I no longer have an accountant this has just arrived from uh, Nicola Dean felting flock which is the humpback whale I'm kind of um, shocked it's in such a small box, but this will be fun to um, open and have a look. I know, I don't know if she's going to be continuing to stock these because the whale, um, the humpback whale video that I had, that video is, well, 
no longer available, which has been really awkward because people sort of do ask me quite a lot. So I'm trying to find another one. I know Nicola will probably have the video still available, but anyway, this will be fun to open up and have a look at this. So I'm just making a standing, a uh, sitting Highland cow because they're always so popular. And I have literally shoved everything on the shelves really badly because I've got to label it all with prices anyway. And then I thought I'd show you. So these guys have been sitting in the back of my video for ages. Um, I did them about two months ago. I thought, yeah, I'm doing really well. And I was considering doing them as a, like a Christmas kit. But I think I'll just put the videos out on the lead up to Christmas and start filming them. But these were my little... This was my idea last year and I was going to do 12. So I've had them sitting there for ages. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just do the videos and put the videos out. There's just, I don't know, would people like it as a kit? I don't know if I have. Some of the colours are quite similar so it wouldn't be too hard. But um, it's having the time to do it now and it would just be videos on YouTube. There wouldn't be instructions. It would have You'd have to have access to... YouTube for it but that's what I was thinking of doing like a little Christmas kit that's what I was hoping of doing but you know what it's like time is getting away from you so my operation I haven't got a new date yet I'm going to chase them up today but of course I'm really concerned that it might end up being around the time of my craft fair and my husband's parents are coming up but we can cancel them that's not a problem and the craft fair I could move it I could ask her and she might be able to squeeze me in on um, another date if it comes to it. But I'll, I'll keep you updated on that. So I'll just carry on. I'm going to do a couple more um, Sleeping Highland Cows to go on that display. So they look really good together. Because I looked at one of my old stalls, that uh, a photo I took that I went to uh, Yummy Yorkshire about a year and a half ago. And I had so many Highland Cows. So I really should do a few more. And also I forgot to mention I've been developing some little chicken designs so that beak was a bit better on the second one but I'm going to do them in some different colours but I think they're quite sweet with their little tails but yeah my daughter likes them she says they're definitely nice but I'll take them to the craft fair see what people think. So I've got some more bits and pieces from World of Wool just turn up which you know because I'm a tester for them these are oh, this is the luxury collection and I will show you this alpaca camel cashmere yak silk really uh, great for 2d felting I should imagine look at those really nice and then the British breed collection blue face blue face Leicester Swaledale Jacob and Shetland and I'm, I always like looking at the natural fibers and then also I got some um, yarn which is just for me to sort of play around with it's more for people th this sort of thing is more for people who dye stuff um but i can still make uh, things out of them so i haven't videoed much over the past few days i've just been sort of getting these guys all ready um so i've got quite a few now i did about another four more i've got another one as well i've got some more wood slices coming and i also did this one the traditional I haven't done one of these for ages, but they really are my most popular and um, they're on my Thinkific site, how to do them really easily. The video is a lot clearer. I think people prefer it. But yeah, so just prepping for the craft fair because it's in five days now. So Felters, it's the 31st of October. Happy Halloween to you all. I have put some Halloween bits out. Um, it has been raining solidly in this country. It's foggy, it's misty. I don't know how the trick-or-treaters are going to get down to the front door. It's so wet and horrible. But I've put some things out and the sweets are ready. Um, I have got a new operation date for the 28th of November, which is a long way away. It's obviously fine. I'm really happy because I get to do the craft fair. So fingers crossed for that one. <laughs> You'll see next month if it goes ahead. Um, I'm so looking forward to the craft fair because I've just got too many pieces and yes I keep making more but it's so lovely if I'm you know going to get the shelves down a bit so I'm really really looking forward to the craft fair. The craft fair I'm going to do a separate um, little video on it so you guys can come along. I know that if you're planning to do a craft fair for the first time or you're not sure about it it's so lovely to watch somebody else go through the whole day and what happens. I do have videos on craft fairs. Um, go and check out my business section. 
um, but this one I'm going to really try and vlog it properly and so you guys can get a, a feel of what it's like to actually be there with me for the day. So I've got the punch needle kits to do, I've got two of them so I'm really looking forward to them because I just think that's a really similar craft to needle felting actually, really creative. Um, I'm going to do the video for um, these guys which I showed you earlier, some of the other ones as well, they're going to be my Christmas bauble set so I'm um, excited about videoing those and I'm working towards the horse course, I keep getting asked about it and I will do it. I think I might do a sheep first, the Herdwick sheep, like I talked about. It's all preparation for me mentally in my head getting ready and making sure that I am 110% happy with any course that I put out. So, um, as always, a massive thank you for being here. It hasn't gone unnoticed to me that I crossed the 60,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and I'm not one to sit here and sort of do massive celebrations, but I am always humbled by the fact that this tiny little channel could reach 60,000 subscribers. So you guys just watching a video helps out my business tenfold. You just don't know. All you have to do is watch a video, maybe press a like. Most of you that watch the vlogs are subscribed, so thank you so much. But yeah, a huge thank you for being here. Have a wonderful November and we'll see you in a month's time. Take care. Bye.